city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, maybe you think of the Rocky films mm -hmm. or Boys to Men, also Philadelphia, Liberty Bell. But I, I always think of the food. <laughs> Hello, cheesesteaks. She loves food, right? <laughs> who doesn't love cheesesteaks? Of course, who better to show us how to make them than the man whose family invented them? Yes, invented the cheesesteak. Please welcome third generation owner of Pat's King of Steaks, Frankie E. Olivieri. Hi. <laughs> Frankie, good to see you, man. Thank you for having me. So Thanks. walk us through how we do this. And okay. while we're doing this, I need you to explain to me the lingo, because lots of people come to Philly to visit, and they need to understand how to order a cheesesteak. Okay, well, there's a specific way that we do it, and I'll, I'll start with this over here. Okay. So we have cooking already. We have some condiments. We have mushrooms. We have peppers, and we have onions. Mm. Onions being the main condiment. So peppers and mushrooms were like a new addition to the sandwich, but some people like, and some people, some purists do not. Ooh. So we get fresh ribeye. And it's so important for it to be thin, right? The it's thin important steak. for it to be thin. And one of the things we do at Pat's and a couple of the other old time places, our, our, oh, so good. our mm. other friends, we, we don't chop the meat. And we turn it over. And mm. we don't season our meat on a grill because our grill is actually the third grill in 93 years. So it's so seasoned. So it's, it's well seasoned. <laughs> it's like your grandmom's cast iron. Yeah. Mm. And you can smell the smell. It's really, really good. So good. Okay. So over here we have some cooked already. So right. why don't you okay, I'm gonna grab that? And just stick it on there. Just stick it on there. Oh, you really know she good. knows what she's doing. She's a former I mean, I queen don't. of Philly. I, I, so Marco, <laughs> we're gonna make you make one too. So okay. you can have a choice of I and mean, I know you're not doing bread. So okay. you can grab a choice of Cooper Sharp American cheese or okay. provolone for yours. Okay. okay, so explain to me this lingo part. So okay. people the cheese situation. So as it's as it sits now, it's a steak sandwich without onions. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, then it will become a steak sandwich with onions. With okay. the onions one, right? Okay. And then it makes a transformation to become a cheese steak. So oh, it could wow. be a cheese steak with provolone, American, or our most famous cheese, which is, you know, this brand of cheese, mm -hmm. this liquid gold called cheese, you know, right. anyway, <laughs> so um, we, this is our famous cheese. Do you want to do it or do you want me to do you it? You do it, you're okay. proud. So we, we're generous with this. Oh, wow. And wow. that becomes, to say it correctly, a cheese wit, or a cheese Cheez. wit. Cheese wit. Cheese wit. So the cheese, the standard cheese is cheese whiz. Okay, what about this great debate about provolone or the whiz? Pro Come for, on, solve me, it. Solve it. Help us out. What for was me, the original? For the original cheese was probably provolone. But my father found, my father Frankie found um, cheese was in 1956. I think he was watching some a movie, Some Like It Hot, and there was a jar of cheese was in there on the train when they were getting ready to have some cheese and crackers. And he saw it and he said, well, I should try that. And he was making it for customers, and customers really, really liked the sandwich. Because it melts nice. Because it melts, mm -hmm. and it's easier, and... When you get down to that last bite, like if, if you're with your man, and um, or anybody for that matter, with your boo and, thing. and that last bite down there is the most incredible bite because everything just like gets to the back of the roll. So and the last bite, and, the if last you're, bite? and if the person you're with gives you that last bite, <gasps> true love. That's love true you. love. That's, That's true absolute love. true love. All right, how did I do? You did really well, and your abs will probably look great tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more time for Frank, everybody. No, we love that. Thank you. And again, you can always check out Pat's King of Steaks. That's if you are in Philly. And for today's recipes, just go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food or scan the QR code on your screen. Frank, so again, fun. thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.